Hey YouTube! Um, first of all, huge, 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 huge apologies that this video is so late. Um, it's my April favourite and it's the middle of May. I've been very busy, lots of things have gone wrong this month. Um, losing my memory card, you name it, it's gone wrong. But I'm here now, so yeah, let's get started. I've got a bit to get through. Right, we'll start with makeup. Um, I haven't really stuck to the same makeup really this month. I've bought a lot of new stuff as you'll know if you follow my blog and these are some of the, um I've tried different things so I haven't really stuck to anything throughout April. So um uh the main things I've stuck to have been a couple of lip products. Um one of which you have already talked about in a previous video which is Mac and Fabby lipstick and another one is one I actually purchased in April and it is this uh, that one and it is MAC and Snob. Um, I got this as part of my back to MAC colour. I'm actually wearing it now. Um, it's a lovely pink. I don't know why I didn't own this earlier. It's a bit bright, but I love pink. I used to hate pink, now I love pink. And I love Snob. It's that lovely, cool sort of pinky colour. And I'm absolutely loving this at the moment. I've worn this an awful lot. Generally for day to day use though, I've been taping it down with uh, some sort of gloss over the top. Um, and what I've picked up a lot is this one. It's by MAC, labels rubbed off, how annoying. Um, if you can see the bottom, it's Cherry Blossom. And this came out with Cult of Cherry. Uh, I'll do a little swatch for you here, you can't really see that well. And again, it's a nice cool toned pink. And it looks really nice over the top of this, over the top of Fabi, over the top of a lot of things. Obviously it's a limited edition so it's discontinued now, but um, MAC generally bring out a lot of these pale, uh, sort of pale pink, slightly shimmery glosses. Um, right, next thing. We'll go with Nail Care. Um, my nails have been shocking. If you follow me a blog again, you'll know I've been doing something called Project Nail Growth. Every month I've been trying a different nail product. And I've saw sort of different success with things. But to be honest, in, the, in April I got some of the best success I've actually achieved so far. And it was from three products from, get them right around, from Mavala. If you read my blog, I've actually done a full review of these. But um, I'll just do a quick one here. First of all, there's Mavala Scientific. It's sort of a clear water-like liquid that you put on your nails once or twice a week and it hardens. And it does. Um, and on top of that, I've been using two two products called the Majot Mavala Nail Shield System. Phase one, you apply it and it's like, it looks like trellis slightly sparkly trellis on. And it's sort of, um, yeah, it's it basically what it is, it's a fiberglass coat, that I, a nylon coat that actually supports your nail structure. Now, because that's a bit funny, over the top you get something called Nail Shield, which aids the strengthening process. It's like a pinky colour, you can see it there, but really like those. I was sent those two products, the, the sh Nail Shield products, but as I say, I still love them and I would talk about them anyway. Next product, another two I've talked about on numerous occasions. The Lizzo Cleanse and Polish System. I love this. I've gone back to this this month, uh, sorry, in April, after using something else, which was okay. It wasn't bad, but as I say, I've said so many times about the Lizzo Cleanse and Polish System, you don't realise how good it is till you actually don't stop using it. I've started using it again this month. I love it. What can you say that hasn't already been said? It removes everything. Super gentle for all skin types. I've mentioned it before, loads of videos have, loads of blogs have. It's a good system. Definitely check this out if you haven't already. And another item I've returned to this month, um, in April, I keep saying that but it's April I've returned to, is the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. Um, I think I've talked about this before as well. Um, I love this stuff. It is worth every last very expensive little penny. Again, it's an anti-aging cream, but it's got the most gorgeous cream gel texture. Um, yeah, I need an anti-aging cream. I'm 32 on Saturday. That is very scary. Um, but I still have combination oily skin, and I find this absolutely perfect. It just soaks in. It leaves your skin absolutely silky soft. Gorgeous. Only problem is the price. But... As I, uh, as, I, as I think I've said before, if you look at QVC, sometimes they have special value deals with it in. It's sometimes cheaper to buy it in kits and you honestly don't use much and you can use it right up to the eyes which makes it a really worthwhile product. Another skincare product which I haven't talked about before but millions of people have is the Garnier Roll-On. Um, caffeine Roll-On for 
um, eyes. Get it in the tube and it's a, uh, with a rollerball top and I've been sleeping quite badly this month. I sometimes do obviously with my me get really bad sleeping smells and this is one of them. This April's been one of them and obviously I've had a bit puffy eyes and what have you and this is fabulous. It is so cooling on your eyes when you use it. You just rub it on, under your eyes. I think you can use it over makeup as well. So put it there and it is so cooling and refreshing under your eyes. It's a lovely product. Um, I've tried the one with a concealer which I just did not like at all but definitely try this if you haven't already. It really makes a difference. Another facial product. Um, I've been testing something for my blog which I have reviewed at home and when I start, first started using it it dried my skin out so badly. I've never had dry skin before. The sides of my face were literally flaky which was horrible. And I remembered something I bought a while ago which was this. The Shizen Certified Organic Jasmine Face Oil. And it is for dry sensitive skin. This is what it looks like. comes in a dropper tube. Pull up up hand. There it is. You really don't need very much of this either. It smells so strongly of jasmine but I love the smell of jasmine. And it absorbs really easily. It's a lovely product um, for clearing up dry skin etc. And that's certainly what it did with me. A couple of nights and it made such a difference. And it is absolutely beautiful and it smells amazing amazing um i got mine from qvc but i'm sure there will be other outlets in the uk um yeah as i thought i think it's australian it's an australian brand but i really like this and i'll definitely keep that for emergency users my final product this month um well as i say april again is a uh, nail polish remover um i've mentioned nail polish removers before and i have major issues with nail polish remover because of the smell um, and this one was introduced, um, it was in the ASOS, uh, seen on screen at ASOS sale and I bought this to try it. Yes, I'm smelling nail varnish remover. And it actually smells nice. Like the Lurton Denny one, when you use it, it's, you, you can smell the nail varnish remover. But when it dries off, it's got the most gorgeous powdery floral scent. It is lovely. It is the Butter London Powder Room Acetone Free Nail Varnish Remover. And I really love this this month. I'm going to do a video showing where I get this from now because I've got a whole video to do at some point for you and so I'll show you where I get this now but um, it's a company called Powder Rooms bizarrely enough where I've been getting it from and I love it because ASOS also not doing it anymore it's actually quite hard to get hold of but yeah that was my April favourite sorry it was late and sorry it was a bit rushed but um, hope that was useful if you've got any questions please don't hesitate to ask I promise I will be back soon as I say I've got a whole video and some more to do so yeah hope you enjoyed don't forget to rate thumbs up, comment and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye!